Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how we can send the bulk emails with multiple attachments. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this automated template to send or to display the multiple emails with multiple attachments. We have given here option up to four attachments, but you can add more columns here and you can modify the code accordingly. We have given the option to choose the from email also. Let's say if you have configured multiple emails in your Outlook and you want to send the email with a specific email ID, you can put your specific email ID here in from and that email will be sent using that particular mailbox. Friends, here I have given two options to send the email and to display the email. Select the send option if you want to send email directly or if you want to just display that email so you can choose this display option. Now here we have given the first column as skip. Let's say you have put multiple records on this template but you want to send the email only for these three first records. For the rest other records you can put here yes because you want to skip these records so you can put here yes. That status column will be filled by this macro as it will send this email or display that email it will put here done. Now we have here from column you can put your email id if you are using only single email id in your outlook then you can keep it blank also. The next one is the to column. So here you want to send the email to this particular email id you can put here. If you are using the multiple email id in two, you can put the semicolon after the first email id, then you can put your next email id. Similarly, for cc also, you can put multiple email id using semicolon separator. Now this is subject, you can put your subject here, then this is mail body, whatever you want to display on the mail body, you can put here. You can use the formulas also to create the subject and uh, mail body dynamically. Now here you can provide your attachment path that should be complete path here you can see this path text one file name dot xlsx okay so let's say for the first email we have only two attachments so you can put the attachment one attachment two for attachment three and four you can keep it blank if you don't have any attachment you can just keep it blank otherwise you can put the path you can take the path directly from the file let me show you let's say we have this file you can simply right click if you are using the windows 11 you can directly copy as path and then you can just paste that here i have given one more option to get the path of any file so here you can see we have this get file path you can click on the cell wherein you want to get the path just click on get file path now it will pop up this window from here you can choose your file, you can go to the specific path also, let's say I have selected this test to click on open. As you will click on open, it will put that path here, alright. You can just click on send email. So we have selected display, as we will click on send email, it will display multiple emails. So here you can see, it is showing the multiple emails. If I will select here send option, then it will directly send all the emails without showing this all right friends so it's fully automated template now i will explain you the code of this template this is the next version of one of my videos wherein i have displayed the how we can send the multiple email but i have given here the option to attach the multiple attachment and i have given here option for this from okay now i will show you the coding this is the send email code so what we have done, we have taken here first this variable name sh as worksheet and then set sh this workbook.sheet bulk email. So we have this bulk email sheet here. Now next we are using one more variable dim i as integer then dim oa as object. So we are taking an object variable for oa outlook application and one object variable for msg for the mail item. So here we have set OA as create object and outlook dot application and then here we are using one more variable dim last row as integer and last row we are taking on this sheet from column D ss dot range 
column D and application dot rows dot count dot end Excel up dot row. So what it is doing, I will tell you. So here from the column D, which is two column, we are going down first, then we are coming up. So whatever is the last row, it will put here. Let's say in this case we have D fifteen. So row number is fifteen. Okay. Now we are putting a loop for i equal to six to last row. Six means I will show you this header is row number five. You can see here a five and a six is actually data is starting from here till last row. Okay. Then first what we are checking here if s s dot a and i dot value is not equal to yes. So we are making it sure here it should not be yes. If it is yes, then we will skip this. If it is not yes, then we will go into this loop. Now first, what we are doing set MSG as OA Outlook application dot create item and zero to create the new mail item. Okay, and here I am putting first condition if column C and I. So if the value on the column C which is from is blank, is not equal to blank, then we are using here msg dot sent on behalf of name. So friends, this is the code which we use to get the from name. We can choose the different mailbox if we are using the multiple mailbox in our Outlook. So we can use this code send on behalf of name equal to ss dot range c and i dot value. So here we have this value. So you can put the name here now. Coming to the two part, msg, which is mail item, dot two. So we are putting here two, this column, column D. Then we have cc, column E. Then subject, column F. Here we can see. Then next is body, column G. We can see here. Now for the attachment from column H till column K. And we are putting here condition. So let's check if h column is not equal to blank then it will attach msc dot attachments dot add then the path will take from column h now if we are using another attachment we will use the similar code again but let's check it column i is not equal to blank then only it will attach another attachment then we are repeating this activity till column k so friends if you want to attach more attachment you can add attachment 5 6 7 8 here and you can add this code again you can just copy and paste and after k you can take l m n o okay similarly you can add multiple attachment now i will show you what we are doing here ss dot range a1 is equal to 1 so let me show you this thing what we are doing here we have taken these two option button okay so let me show you on another sheet here. Let's say I'm taking two option button here. So I'll go to the developer tab and then I'll go to the insert and from the form control, I'll take this option button. Let's say this option button I'm taking for send email. And now let me make a copy of this and I will paste this and this is for the display email. So let me edit this. I will right click on any of the option button. Then I'll go to the form control. And here I will go to the link cell. Let's say I'm linking it with A1. Now I have selected the second option button. So value of the A1 is 2. If I will select the option button 1, then value is 1. Okay. So it is getting changed. The same thing we are doing here. Let me show you this option button is connected with A1. It is connected with A1. Okay, so on the A1, it is showing the value as 1 or 2. So if 1 is selected, that means we want to send the email. If 2 is selected, then that means we want to display the email. So same thing we are doing here. If ss.range a1.value equal to 1, then msg.send, it will send the email. And else case, it will display the email. Okay, on the column B, it will put done. Once it is completed, we put done. And once all the loop is completed, it will show the message process completed. All right, this macro we have assigned here. You can right click and assign the macro from the this workbooks for the send email. Okay, you can click on it. I have already done it. Now I'll show you the get file path also. This is the small macro to get the file path. The file path as a string and file path equal to we have used application dot get open file name. 
multi select equal to false you cannot select the multi point if you have clicked on the cancel button when we will click here and we will click on the cancel button then it will return false if it is not returning false then only it will put the selection value whatever you have selected if you will select the multiple one it will put the same file path in the all one okay all right friends so friends that is how we have created this automated template you can watch our previous video also i will provide the link in video description box friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching